the way this whole commercial got started was we got an email during the summer from Dr. Dell and it mentioned the people that were going to be involved, which were Tom Parr, Blair, and Peggy, who were well-recognized people in the field. It all started when I was trying to figure out how I was going to do a new commercial for the university when uh, I had a tighter budget situation than I had had in past years. It couldn't have been within two days from when I was struggling to figure out how we were going to do this that I got a call from our colleagues in University Advancement, which had just hosted this terrific alumni weekend where one of our alums had come back. Marilyn Perry said, you should come to your class reunion in June. Okay, I go to the class reunion. I'm on the roof having drinks with Anthony. I tell Anthony, what are you guys doing for the alumni? I think, I'm like, well, you're not doing it right. Really? Yeah, you think you can do a better job? Yeah, here's my card, call me. He was so impressed with how far the university had come, he wanted to know if he could participate in giving back. I called Bob up. Bob, what are you doing? Yeah, well, this is what I do. Really? I said, you should fly me in. I'll come in next week if you need me. I'll talk to your team and see what we think. Let's get to know each other, see if we like the chemistry. Okay. He said that he would do it pro bono. It was almost too good to be true. Tom and I uh, immediately hit it off. He came in for a weekend to meet me and to talk about our needs. He was so quick, and part of it, I'm sure, had to do with his being an alum and knowing, already having a leg up on understanding who we were, but he, he got to the core of who we were, who we had become in about two days. It was a testimony to how wickedly talented uh, Tom Parr uh, is because you have this unbelievable light outside and it's blasting, so it's backlighting everybody. The other shot was, was behind uh, the garden. We were, went and scouted the garden. There was... Behind the Yeah, that one garden we liked, but Vince had his class down there and his people were all backlit with the fountains going drawing. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's fantastic. I like that. He was insistent on this being an educational experience and wanted up to 15 students to follow the development of the video, which is how the three credit class and probably the most powerful element of the commercial uh, was conceived. The pre-production phase was really intense and grueling. It's, we spent a lot of hours in offices and scouting locations, having meetings. Peggy did a lot of paperwork, spent a lot of time on the phones. We made phone calls to Tom and Blair, spent a lot of time running around campus, shooting locations. There's a, there's a lot of stuff you do beforehand. Um, though I have to say too that there are a lot of things that came together that week that normally we probably would have done a little bit earlier too because we had to condense it so much. I mean, we had to move different things that were going on just so we could get into the places that we scattered and said, this would be great for this spot. It's not like um, we had the luxury of scouting locations far in advance and, you know, scheduling and booking and, you know, we had a lot of very cooperative people, thank goodness, who came together to make a lot of these spots even possible. We did a casting call. They went up, they said a couple things about themselves. And then later, Tom and Blair and Peggy looked at all of them. Then we called everybody, and that took a lot of time. Great, and you can oh, see her blue green up on. Maybe the Tom so she yeah. Well, well, yeah, well, Mallory, we know. That's great, thank you. All right, bye-bye. We shot every faculty member who showed up. The student competition was a, was a bit more fierce, and we, of course, weren't able to use all of them, but we had a very successful uh, casting call with I think more than 80 students showing up. From that, there are certain people that you'd hope might be a lead for a certain shot that then weren't available that day. So obviously you have to go to a plan B. It was really neat to look back on that and see what they were doing and how that worked out. So late on Tuesday, I decided that we were going to shoot early Wednesday morning. So we had to be at the MAC, the production room, at about 6 a.m. to kind of help carry equipment over to Erlinger Gardens, which is where we're going to shoot 
Um, they really wanted to get the perfect shot and it was going to be um, the sun shining through the arches at Erlanger Gardens. We were driving past Wilson Hall oh. <laughs> Monday morning around 7.30 and we were 7.38 we went past the Erlanger, Erlanger Gardens and Blair was like stop the golf cart, stop the golf cart because he had his camera out the whole time and we saw this amazing shot so we planned a shot, a move past the garden. Wednesday was supposed to be really nice weather, and they didn't know how the weather was going to be on Thursday and Friday, which were the shooting days. Actually, day two, we completely reorganized. I, I mean, you know, we woke up that morning and said, uh-oh, there's a lot of clouds. <laughs> and then we had to move everything around. So they said, all right, let's go out a day early because we know it's going to be good. I got a little nervous. I'm like, you know, if we uh, wait you know till Thursday, we might not have these ice, conditions though. again. So let's plan on shooting it tomorrow, Wednesday, just to have it just to make sure we have it, because if it's crappy tomorrow, okay, then what? We have to wait to Thursday anyway, but if it's really great tomorrow and we don't film, and then it's crappy on Thursday, I'm gonna be out of my mind. So we went out and, you know, Tom and Blair were out there shooting, and we helped them out with the shooting, and then some of us were just bodies in the shots, walking back and forth with books, acting like students. And I'm so glad we went out on Wednesday, and I know that um, Tom, Blair, and Peggy were too, because. The other two days, it was really poor weather, and it was not. It would not have been a good shot without that the sunlight coming in, and it wound up working out for the best. The last two days we're shooting. Um, we had to wake up really early, but it was a lot of fun. I've done four commercials before this. I don't think uh, any of them are even close to this level of sophistication and quality. I got to see what Peggy, Blair, um, Tom, and Keenan, what their jobs consisted of, so it was really interesting to see what each did in their part, and um, I learned a lot from that just because I've never actually been at a real shoot before. But it was an opportunity to um, get a feel for the many different things that go into making the spot, the first scene that Blair took was um, in the Wilson Hall as a classroom. He went through it a few times, like back and forth while Keenan was pushing him. You got to see how he used the low angles, the high angles, um, the close-ups. And when you only have like a second, maybe a second and a half to tell a story, you have to be iconic and graphic. Well, I have two favorite shots, but one of them was the girls' bathroom. Well, one of the things that we encountered was that um, because we were working within a, a certain budget, um, we didn't have the luxury of lots of lighting equipment. We had natural lighting in there, that was really awesome. Pretty much that bathroom, the details were already there, so it wasn't very hard to shoot. And one of my favorite, other favorite shots was in the radio, the radio shoot, where at one point Tom was playing the guitar and the kid was on the radio and Blair was shooting the whole thing and then we got to see how it came out later on. It was so cool, like where else are you going to see um, the di creative director playing guitar while the director's shooting for a real scene, that, that was really cool. During production we helped out with small things like taking notes and even getting Tom coffee and stuff to bigger things. Ordinarily we go out with, again, all these other professionals who have a lot of experience and are really good at what they're doing. So what we're doing here is instead of having all those professionals, we're using guys like you and, uh, uh, and other students to help us. Uh, they're learning in the process but helping us to do our jobs. I personally helped out and uh, with a few of the shots, I pushed the dolly for one of the shots in Wilson, and I also worked the uh, jib arm and did the shot of the, uh, the ceiling in there, and that was really cool experience to work with equipment like that. It was a fascinating and heartening experience to have the student class involved, and uh, I, I thought dozens of times during the experience that um, in at no level of my education, undergraduate, master's, doctoral, that I have an experience that was as hands-on as I think as those students were able to get uh, during this, this couple months. Also during production and post-production, uh, which I, I thought this was amazing that guys like Tom and Blair who were you know, so high up would you know, take our input 
for things. Um, like the conference calls that we had during post-production about music and stuff, and our, you know, them, them taking our input on the uh, rough cuts. I think it was just awesome that these guys are humble enough to take the opinions of students and young kids who have like no experience. They got to see rough cuts. They've got they got to help with uh, music. They got to see me freak out when I thought a critical dimension of the um, commercial wasn't there in the first rough cut and saw that we had to bring the film the, the crew back for a second filming. They got to see all of that. They got to see brilliant minds like Tom and Blair in the most chaotic of moments and they got to see them in down, almost boring moments when we were trying to figure out our, our next move. It was so fantastic that you guys were involved in this because at the end of the day, everything that we're doing is so that you guys can grow. It only makes sense if we're doing this project that you can get so much involvement in and being doing everything from you know calling people to line them up or you know working on set with the equipment and seeing how it all comes together what greater opportunity to show you guys this is how it's done than to get your hands on working in it this has been a cool experience too kind of hectic because we had to juggle the time between working on the documentary and working on the commercial at the same time. Overall, this experience was great. We got to learn how a commercial is basically made from start to finish. I learned so much about advertising and production. I got to meet a lot of great people and it was a great resume builder. And it was a lot of fun. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah.